Well, what was it like before your mother um, got sick? Did she have good times? Did my nana look like me? What colour was her hair? Did they have a tree in the garden? Did they have TVs in the garden? They would have run about in the meadow playing with horses and milking the cows. But did they have any pets? Mm. Why did she just go up to a really, really, really big age, about 99? Were there princesses in those days and queens, kings? The richness and depth of your story is a precious legacy for your family. Memoirs Multimedia creates visual biographies on DVD using video interviews, photographs and music. The ships used to um, park and uh, anchor in the roadstead and you'd be taken ashore in tugs and you were taken ashore by being put in a basket and lowered into the tug. It was a round thing with a door and about a dozen people at a time would be crowded into it and then you'd be a weight on the deck and a full of the, if it was, of the, it was a, a, a sea rolling and the tug would roll away from the ship and at the right moment they'd dump you down and then you'd be taken ashore and they'd go back for the next lot. We just went fossicking in the sand hills and uh, we picked Gloriosas, that flower there. They grew wild in the sand hills and we'd bring back bunches of them to put on the, in a glass jar on the table in the camp because the camps were quite elaborate. We'd have a, a marquee for the dining room and then a couple of bell tents for, the, uh, for sleeping. And people took, uh, there'd be a wagon load of furniture went down uh, and take tables and chairs and the, the essentials for, for living for six weeks. And then suddenly there was this bright young thing who came into when I was in Standard 5. I think she was really rather impoverished. And we were heartless, we didn't realise that. All our teachers were very smartly dressed. But poor old Spotty had a, a white dress with dot, polka dots on it. No, no a, a navy blue dress with white dots on it. And it seemed as if she always wore the same dress and washed it at the weekends, I don't know but we never saw her wearing anything else. And we were merciless, really. I feel awful now, we were cruel to her. We were used to having all the other teachers were smartly dressed. And we were really very unkind to her. I was meeting myself at 16, pleased that in starting my interest in girls it only took four years to find the right one. Do you know what I used to do Michael from that age? I'd take a girl out and I'd come home that night and before I went to sleep I'd think now would I like to spend the rest of my life with her? No. So I took another one. <laughs> And so I took dozens and dozens of girls out until I saw my wife's photograph when she was 18 in the Herald. And she was a charity crew raising money. And I looked at her and I absolutely knew. And I said to my young brother, who's five years younger than I, See that girl? He said, yeah, who is she? He said, he said she's pretty. Yeah, I said, she is. I said, I don't know. So I looked up, the, read the paper, and I said, that's her name. And he said, do you know her? I said, no, but I'm going to. And within 48 hours, I rung her up. 
and uh, told her that I was interested in helping on committees, raising money, which I was. I used to be doing quite a bit of uh, committee work. I used to go to the YMCA and so on. And um, I met her, and on the very first night, I knew again, which was confirmed. And we, she, she went for me the same way. And we had a secret engagement for about six months. And then we told the family, and then another six months went by. We were formally engaged, then another year, then we were married. Were you able to stay married for 62 and a half years? And I said, well, that's, that's quite easy. There's only one thing that you have to do by finding the right girl. There's no question about it. If you've got the right woman, you've got the lot. At 70 years of age, I am happy, grateful, for all the wonderful experiences I've had, both good and bad. Um, there is no longer any of the ceaseless striving to, ch to change things. There's a, an acceptance of, yes, we do the best we can to make a difference. But really, the things that are most precious are your family, your friends, the earth, all the wondrous things in us. Life is very beautiful. To see the ancestors coming back in the children of this generation, it's fascinating. And I look at them and I just hope I'm still here to see them all grow. One of my daughters said to me once, do you have any idea, Mum, how ter terrible it is to have a mother who only cares about children, books and trees? I'll go off and join the ancestors one day, but I'm not in a hurry. <laughs> birthdays and special events, we create an entertaining and moving tribute with animated slideshows. I might be gone.